Show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Yas Daily Show. It's your boy Chief One Brazen. Double O in the his house. Oh man, how are you doing today, sir? Doing wonderful. It's you feeling good here today, though. Um, oh, it's raining. Oh, it's raining. Oh man, listen, man. We're in Texas, and the weather is absolutely beautiful, man. Not to rub it in oh. your face, but just saying. <laughs> absolutely. Hey, man. Before we jump into things today, man. Listen, we have a giveaway going on. I don't know if you people knew, man. We're giving away five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. Shit! 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 Worth of Cardano, man. <laughs> oh, dude, I love that, man. Ever since this, that, that was, was like, a that good is... price right now, man. It's a dollar hey. and eighteen cents. Hey, um, listen, it is dropping. Everything is dropping, yeah. of course. But yeah. tell us more about this giveaway, sir. Well, so basically, what we're doing is we're giving two hundred and fifty dollars to two people, which combines up to five hundred dollars. Yeah. So basically, all we need is for you to just hey like and subscribe, and we we get to pick one out of all of you all of you guys to win five hundred dollars five hundred dollars worth in Cardano. Yes, two hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, two winners, uh, yeah. each, pretty much. I will say, I will say, this is a, this will be a perfect time, man. If we can get to five thousand dollars, five five thousand subscribers, mm. uh, while the uh, prices are still while down. the prices are down, man, yeah. you get more Super for your game. money. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey, listen, um, it's pretty simple, uh, and we have faith. We know you guys are gonna do it, so let's make it happen. I still, I still want to get into this thing, man. To be honest, I would enter into this thing and, and win back the money myself. But you know, um, <laughs> I should have a conscience, you know. You can't be out here doing things like that, <laughs> right? All right, let's jump right into the markets. Okay, Kenny, how is it looking? Everything is looking pale. <laughs> I can man, say that. <laughs> tell me about it, man. Um, it's dry. Uh, yeah, Cardano's. Uh, I mean, I said Cardano. Ethereum is holding its dominance, and Bitcoin is definitely gaining a lot more dominance lately. Right. I think this probably has to do with the big funds uh, buying into the. Into, in, into the specific coin uh, right. BTC. Um, also, when you look at the rankings of the coin, uh, Bitcoin is definitely losing um, in terms of market cap majorly. Yeah. yeah. But I don't think it's losing in terms of size. I think it's just losing in terms of market cap. Same yeah. with the term. Right. Uh, I think a lot more funds are getting in, but I guess the retailers are selling. And it's reducing the market size, uh, or maybe the value of the coin itself are going down, else therefore reducing the uh, the uh, market cap. Absolutely. And, and and speaking of, I mean that there's just so much, um, there's there's so much of an effort right now going on to force the retail, the retail trader out of out of this out of this uh, out yeah, of their positions coins. essentially out of these coins right yeah. out of their positions, um, and. Hey, I think at the end of the day, you know, it's whoever is able to hang on, not allow the fear to get to them, uh, and not think, allow the uncertainty to get to them that, that will come out on top here. That was what I was going to say. I think yeah. people's mindsets yeah. and knowledge of how the markets work is very, very critical. Yes. But if everybody thought the same way, then we'll never have a market. So I guess this in a way, it's good that folks are selling yeah, out. Yeah, this is true. In a way, it's, uh, it's, it's I guess good. that's why we're here, to educate yeah. folks as well. Yeah, you need that You need that yin and yang, right? The back and forth. Yeah. Which, speaking of, by the way, man, we found this one article. I cannot wait till we get to it, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Technical analysis. Jeez, we're gonna get to that. Hey, let's join this. Some, let's jump into some news today. So in today's Bitcoin mining news, right? Uh, Bitcoiners are flocking essentially to El Salvador, right, to speak with the leaders there. Um, as many of us know by now, um, El Salvador officially adopted uh, Bitcoin as official legal tender over there. Right, so Bitcoiners are visiting El Salvador to speak with its most powerful people. All right, and here's what they're discussing. They're discussing, um, essentially, for one, one of the things they're discussing is just mining, right, and how they can because they're using thermal energy to mine their Bitcoin over there. And then, of course, we have people who are documenting this whole process because this is history yep. for El Salvador. Yep. Right. So, um, one of the uh, main players, right, is uh, Peter McCormick. Right, uh, he's mm -hmm. a British guy deep in the crypto space, and he also the interesting thing about uh, Peter McCormick is that he approached, uh, you know, he's he's a famous 
podcaster and he approached uh, some officials in the UK government to kind of push uh, the Bitcoin uh, agenda further right? and they were not interested. So what is happening is he's now been uh, in El Salvador and he's documenting some of these early stages of Bitcoin adoption in El Salvador as, as they make history. So it's going to be pretty cool to see how, you know, this turns out and be able to watch that documentary later. Yeah. You know what? You know what I'm thinking? Yeah. This kind of reminds me of how Toyota has the title for quality products. Right. There was this guy. Gosh, his name is going off my mind now. So it's a guy was top notch, Six Sigma, like quality uh, development guy. Of course. And um, it was pitching to the U.S. government or a lot of U.S. companies. Hey, let's let, let's start doing manufacturing this way, and they just totally ignored him. This guy was like, "All right, I'll go to Japan," and they go to Japan. Go. And this is one of the reasons why Toyota is still number one when it comes to quality. Like the definition of quality actually comes from this guy and from Toyota, right. and because of Toyota adopted it, they now become like one of the number one quality providers of manufacturing manufactured products. Absolutely. And it'll be funny if this is eventually what happens with El Salvador. You I have think a super is. cool talent right here. You're not using it. It takes its yeah. talent somewhere else. Absolutely. And the freaking thing booms up. <laughs> and it sucks that it always goes this way, right? Because um, when you have countries that are in that leading position, they should really yeah. listen to the innovative and smart people that are within their community. But they don't. Yeah. And, and then they take it somewhere else. And then, you know, yeah. hey, it is what it is. So uh, very excited for that. In other Bitcoin news, as we know, China has been cracking down, or, or at least there's been a lot of news being China pushed about how China, China does, is right. cracking. Anyway, China will always do what China, China, China does, man. <laughs> but uh, so some of the Bitcoin mining companies in China are packing up their bags and they're like, you know, we've had enough of this garbage, man. We're leaving. We're going to go do it somewhere else. I think that, first of all, I think that this is a massive mistake from China because yeah. you cannot overpower crypto. It is, it is something that is designed to eliminate or to get rid of, of, of too much power being with lines power in the middle. Yeah, exactly. And the more you try to fight against it, it just shows more of a reason why it exists and the more it takes effect. Yeah. Right. So you try to take control of crypto. Now other places are allowing crypto mining to happen. You cannot, you cannot mine all the bitcoin and have it for yourself it's just not gonna work it's a decentralized yep. system and it stays that way so kazakhstan is one of those places that um, the crypto companies are moving to uh, chinese bitcoin mining firm bit mining has delivered a batch of 320 mining machines to kazakhstan with 2600 more to follow right and this is amid the recent crackdown yeah. of the, the chinese should government. not announce this until all 2600 has moved <laughs> Hey, China could just go there and say, "Hey, this yes, is our anything, property." Hey, I'm pretty yeah, sure they're nowhere. probably. Uh, yeah, I, I hope they release this. I, I'm, I'm sure. Hopefully, they're already on the move as this is being released. But guess what? It's not just Kazakhstan, um, Maryland as well, right? Uh, this is something interesting here. So, a Chinese logistics firm is airlifting three metric tons of Bitcoin That's mining machines to Maryland as the Chinese government cracks down on the industry. So. It's, it's pretty much what we're seeing here, man. Bitcoin, crypto can not be stopped. I Period. just say move, move, move the hey. mining uh, station to my backyard. Hey, man, this, <laughs> you know, I think um, whatever governments are embracing this and learning it and trying to take advantage of it, uh, I think that they're going to be better off in the long term versus people yeah. who are busy trying to fight. It, right. Um, should we should we do this one first or should we come back to it? I think we should come back because it's we should super come back to crazy. It? Exactly. We know we're, gonna just, we're just going to cross into technical analysis with this. So, Charles Hoskinson wants Cardano and Dogecoin to partner up. Now, tell us more about this, sir. I think it's a wonderful idea. Uh, right. Uh, just, just reading the article. So, Charles is a is a is an ex Ethereum guy, right? And, yeah. Um, yeah, he was one of the founders. And that there's there. been conversations that he's been trying to have with Elon that has been kind of ignored. Right. Uh, but who knows? There might be a possibility that they're going to eventually have this conversation. And there might be a merger where you're going to have Adder and Doge come together. Now, this is what I'm fundamentally analyzing. Right. Is that if Cardano already has a function or a tool, right? Right. 
and Dano has already achieved that goal but does not have the popularity of Dodge. And I have to say, Elon has been quite good at taking brands that are like kind of dead in the water mm. and coming on board and then blasting them out. Like Tesla itself, yeah. you know, the, the interloop, all this stuff. He made them popular and he made them boom. They were not, some of, PayPal was not his original idea. It's just joined the team. So I think here that if those two teams can combine together, we can have the Tesla of the crypto market. Because it will be much easier for Doge to now have a function if you can just bring it into the dino. This is true. Um, I, and I, I see your point there. Um, <clears throat> for me personally, I think that Cardano is doing just great by itself. Obviously, Charles Hoskinson is a smart guy. And um, if he sees the use case for, for Cardano and Dogecoin coming together, I guess so. That would work. Uh, but I yes, know that a lot of the principles that that uh, that Cardano and input output use uh, are similar to to Tesla, right? I don't. I yeah. sent you. Uh, remember, I sent you like a comparison thing at one time, and it was yep, just the same. Yep, yep, yep. So yep. I, I found that interesting. Go ahead. Yeah, and I, that's the, which is why I said initially that it's a fundamental and psychological uh, analysis, right. because some of the stocks like some of the stocks that are doing super well they do really well because of the popularity right yeah or the the, the market acceptance uh doge has the market acceptance a lot of people does not know about do not know about, know about it yeah this is true this is true that's why we're giving away 500 dollars of it too so that we can raise awareness over it subscribe to our channel to be entered to this uh, cardano Let's giveaway <laughs> <laughs> right absolutely all right shall we move on then sir because we're about to see something mind-blowing uh -oh, at least fire. in my opinion you know what i'm saying all right and, and investing the compost at this man and and as well as coin cora listen man your credibility is being questioned right now man you guys are on the line coin cora posted it and they just and of course, investing the company is posted, man. You know these people, they live for this thing, man. Yeah. Bitcoin to dip to 15K and bounce to 80K, says Sublime Traders. Now, I did a little bit of research, you know. Sublime Traders uh, seems to be a group of guys who are... I don't, I don't know where they come from because their website just seems like a lot of joking around as far as the way they describe themselves. They, you know, I mean, there is no names... Uh, and it's just it's just like a lot of joking around on their website it seems like you know i mean i do not it did not inspire confidence in it me just, it, it's just it's just a bunch of guys that trade crypto right. and have fun they have fun doing it they have fun doing it right which is fine yeah. you know what i mean we also trade crypto we enjoy doing it and all of that stuff yeah but if we're going to put out something we're going to try to make sure that really is to the best of our ability with some serious integrity behind it you know what i'm yeah. saying now this is a question I have for you, though. If if one of these guys came to us one day and they're like, "Hey, Che, Kenny, here, man, here's a hundred k. We need you guys to write an article, misguiding everyone." What would you say to that? I've been offered more than that <laughs> to, to, <laughs> to, uh, to actually shut up, and I said, "No, I don't believe in, I'm, I don't believe in taking money to shut up or or lie to other people." Yes. Um, it's just never the way I was brought up. So, no, sir. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I can't hey, take it. That, that is that is good to know because listen, and ladies and gentlemen, you cannot sell your soul if you do not stand for something. Okay. You, you cannot be respected. Something. Yeah. You gotta you know? start for something, man. You right. Start for because something. when you start going down the down a certain road, man, it becomes very dark. When you start yeah, cause, lying to cause, people, because because now it's like a hundred thousand, then tomorrow it'll be something else, exactly. and the day after it's something else. Where does it end? Where does exactly. it end, man? Do not put yourself in a position where people can buy you. Because you, hey, listen, once someone puts a price on your head, man, that's all it is now, man. Now you're just a cheap, hey. But okay. Anyway, so the sublime traders here uh, say that Bitcoin is going to dip to 15k, and then it's going to come up to 80k. They have some very precise numbers, man. Sublime Trader founder predicts Bitcoin will reach 80k this year. The price, the prediction is based on technical and fundamental indicators. Okay, let's okay. see. You know what I'm saying? Hey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, sometimes maybe there's too many lines on the chart and then maybe he just confused it. You know what I mean? Give him the benefit of the doubt there. However, he also warns that crypt the crypto 
could also dip to 15k first listen let's just let's just let's just go to let's the just chart go straight to the you know what I mean? analysis and man, see, and see if, what's going on here yes bro because i don't want to read that garbage anymore here's the thing if that is the case first of all he says he's going to go to 80k should we start at 80k no let's let's go down to 15k he says he's going to drop to 15k uh looking at the chart here uh where is where is 15k we are there all right so here is 15k all right around that line there i'm, I'm gonna i'm just gonna i'm just gonna drop a line there and so we can we can have an idea of where that is horizontal line at let's say 15 oh 17 fair enough right that's fine that's okay fair. perfect and i'm gonna zoom into this line and we're gonna move to the left so obviously um what happens is left. yeah when you are looking at a chart you want to look to the left so you can get historical data of where it is of what is happening with it support and resistance levels is what we are looking for yeah. so uh, bitcoin is currently way up there if we start looking to the left you would see that the first point where we cross candles this is not a major support or resistance level it's just yep. somewhere in the middle yep and and the uh and the ma's are all separate they all separated separated. from each other so. right so it's, yep. it's it's just running up it's just yep. running up so yep. you could have closed your eyes and pointed to this thing and it, you're not 15 so <laughs> this could have been 15 yeah yep. right this could have been 15 this could have been 14 15 just happened to be the number that is selected maybe yep. psychologically yep. they've done some research and seen that people like 15 and so they said 15 right uh, you, now you could have also picked 16 exactly it looks like 15. <laughs> exactly right so we're going to keep moving to the left there is nothing here at 15. there's no reason to believe that's it. now that's we are all the way back to that. that's, that's all we, the way to 10k probably this is 2019 okay and there's a little spike here but it's not even sitting on that right so we're gonna roll back all the way to 2017 the last time that candles crossed this price level and where are we we're not sitting at any major support or resistance level no not at all maybe this guy has that's look, that's not even at the head it's not on the shoulders bro i mean it's not on I mean, uh, 19k which is uh yeah, it's a, not 19k it's a, it's it was a resistance 7K. level yeah it was a resistance level at some point back there now yeah. check this out uh i'm just gonna kind of blindly do this here and uh, we'll take our chances and see what happens i'm gonna put a resistance line there at 19k and 17 as well and i'm gonna yeah, put right a resistance there. line there at Somewhere 17k all oh, right we gotta we gotta hit that again at 17k right yeah and for a quick moment here, we're just going to roll to the right and see what happened at uh, 17 and 19K in the future. Look at that. 17K happened to be support again in the future. And 19 yep. is close enough, right? That's a resistance yeah, that level a very, in the very future. Strong, support. strong resistance yeah. and support level in the future. Yep. You do not select those numbers. <laughs> you went all the way to 15. Why there is nothing? I Listen. think it's a clickbait, man. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt is what this is. This is beautifully crafted. Fear, I, uncertainty, I really and the, doubt. I really think the delivered. media industry is going dead with all this junk news that is going out. It's lately. insane. It's like you can't even trust the media. It's just so much junk. It's insane and it's uneducated. It's beyond. I cannot even believe that we're doing this right now. This is reality. Okay. And of course, this, there's nothing else there. Okay. Now. Let's roll to the other side. This mindset is going to 80K, yeah. right? So we're gonna, you know, hey, let's bring it to the future. Oh, oh right, there is what I mean by the future. Let's bring it to the present. Where, look, man, this guy did not even mention that he was going to, right now we're seeing some, this is our, this yeah. is our, this here are our levels, worst case right? Scenario. We think 25 yeah. is worst case scenario, right? Yeah. But that is based on historical data which okay that that's that's and too much scrolling. Scrolling. let's just go yep, back down so there, there's a lot of scrolling let's go back anyway if you look at it we're sitting around that 30 level right now right yep. and he didn't talk about he didn't talk about maybe breaking the previous resistance level right so we could talk about breaking 40k first there is no mention yep. of that because that's going to be a battle to break yep. through that um they could be breaking above the 49k level there to, is a uh, 45k 
Right, there's 45k as well, which is also going to be yeah, uh, quite a, yeah another point of contention, right? You're gonna have yeah. to need to break through that. Yeah. Then you have to break through uh, the 59 to 60k level. Yeah. Right, and then yeah, after 65. that, right after that, hey, look, fair game. You can run. You can run and, and run away. If we were to draw the patterns on this right now, I right. don't see a decay any any time close. Like no. if you draw the channels. Yeah, if we draw the channel, I don't I don't think that's it's still trending downwards. I think we can pull that up on uh let's yeah, pull yeah, that yeah, up yeah. on spider here right and uh yeah let's get that comparison going. Uh BTC USD. Alright, we're gonna whip up a daily chart here. Right. As you can see, this is just moving away from everything that is you know so new lines have to be drawn it's no longer so this is the this is what i'll consider the money line right that blue this one right there. yeah this thing had to be trending on this blue line yep to make it to 80k we're moving away from that line right now so mm -hmm. for us to get to 80k by the end of the year this thing has to reverse and find itself back on the money line yep. and if we're looking at this this year for this to roll back into the money line it has to be an aggressive i'm talking about green candles on green candles mm -hmm. just straight to the upside which i get yeah. it it's crypto that could happen but how likely is that well the good news though is that the price action is above the 8 ma this is true actually on the two minutes which on, on the on daily the two, on the two hour it's chart below yeah, so it's above so, the it's, it's above the eight moving average on it, which is is yeah, good. On, it's fine on, on the two minute, but on the daily though, which is the much stronger one, it's below, which is the problem. It's right, it's it's, it's, it's below on the daily, and that's the thing. So like for like on the on the like so on the two hour chart here, look if you're doing some short term trading, right? Yeah. You're trying to be in and out. Cool, that's yeah. fine. That makes sense. That's cool. Yeah. But still, that doesn't have anything to do with what is going on here, right? We have a, yeah. a, a an ascending triangle situation here. You know, it might break out of that a little bit, but we're not doing that short term trade right now. I don't see why you're saying 80k, sir. We've not ever, we've never even been here. There's nothing going on up here. We don't even know where the next resistance yeah, level will be. Anyone saying 800k right now is just trying to get you to to to, to right. jump. Because um, I I will say you just play <laughs> play. Here's my thing. <laughs> Is, the, is, it, is, there, is, is this going to be a resistance level or are we just going to blow right through it? Is 70 going to be a resistance level or are we going to blow it through it? 75, 80 is going to be, you know, we can, listen, man, Bitcoin can go anywhere. But when you pick two solid numbers, right? And you're like, this is where it's going. And then that is where it's going. We can question that. And maybe, hey, maybe we're not seeing something. So if these guys maybe want to come question out, it, but a lot of people won't question it. A lot of people and, and this is the danger behind that because think about this let's say for someone who does not know how to read the charts right and they look at this and they're like well it's gonna go down to 15k okay i should probably sell my coins right now and then i'll catch it when it gets down to 15k oh kramer kramer used to do this back in the day right and you will sell <laughs> uh, i will sell my position waiting for the soccer to go down oh, right no. And, and that's the, the, next, the next that is the months. problem I have with this because like yesterday Kramer came on and he was like yeah I sold out of my Bitcoin and this guy today they're like well it's gonna go to 15k imagine how many people are going okay um, I'm just gonna sell my Bitcoin right now so that it does not keep losing when it gets to 15k I'll catch it well what if it does not make it to 15k right it might get down to like 25 and then turn back around right now you've been out of, you've been you've been forced out of the trade and you'll probably be buying it when it starts moving up again because it might start moving up again and you're like yeah it's, it, it does this all the time it's gonna come back but then it doesn't come back you've been thrown out of the trade now you're forced to buy it at a higher price point than you were in to begin with listen fud fear uncertainty and doubt this is what these people are designing and this is what they're pushing out there every day so please all i can say is uh they're scaring you to exit your positions. Right? Yeah, it, it's, it it's crazy. But here we are seeing it in broad daylight. Listen, other than that, before we close it out here, um, Ethereum is falling and I'm happy about this. <laughs> Ethereum is doing that wonderful H, man. Dude, man, I cannot <laughs> wait. Man. I, cannot, I just I just wanted to just slowly, slowly keep falling. And by the time it gets to 
15. I hope he makes it to 15. Yeah, you want to have enough money to just at least have one share of Ethereum. Hey, man. <laughs> just boom, slap him with a whole full one there. And and if, if he makes it to 1,000, 1039, that's just going to be... Have 10 shares of Ethereum. Blissful, sir. <laughs> Blissful. We're going to be in there. Um, and then, of course, we have Cardano, which, um, you know, it's just doing the same thing as well. The markets are really boring. But before we go, do not forget, we are giving away... Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars <laughs> worth of Ethereum, ladies and gentlemen. Two hundred and fifty dollars to two winners. Random selection. Okay, straight to your Ethereum wallet. Once we get to five thousand subscribers, so please like, yo, share. A friend Go of mine called me. I was like, Yo, Kenny, when are you guys giving them with the money? I was like, Uh, get more of your friends to subscribe. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly, man. It was like, Hey, the sooner and. And that, hey, that's true though. The, the sooner you get your friends to subscribe, the sooner we get to that five thousand subscribers, the sooner you get to win the uh, the Cardano. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's a win win all across. So uh, please, you, you know what's so cool about this? What's that? I don't even have to worry about paying the expensive uh, transaction fees that I pay with the bank. Ooh. This is gonna be a crypto wallet transfer. This is true. We just, this yeah, is another just, advantage of crypto. Like it does not matter uh, anywhere you are address. in the world. You still Absolutely. get the freaking money without going through the complications of um, Western Union or whatever Western, it is uh, that is out there. Man. MoneyGram. Dude, you know, where was it? where was the last time you went to Western Union, bro? Dude, I stopped going a decade ago. Dang, I think. I went to send money to someone back in Cameroon maybe two years ago. Yeah, and I remember I had to like pay and pay extra so that when they pull it on the other side, they can yep. take care of the fees as well. And yeah, <laughs> shout out to crypto. I'm telling man. you, man, crypto is changing the world. <laughs> yeah, and people are just not thing, getting man. it. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing, man. Well, uh, any any finishing thoughts, sir? <sighs> when when the when the Ford is out, that is when you should be buying. You, you look Again, like this the is market not financial is advice, you down, man. but this is just lessons learned. True, this is true. This is true. Um, and, and I will say this, man. Um, it's not easy emotionally. Right? It's painful seeing the yeah, red account. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Because I'm not even gonna lie, bro. There are times when I. I this, I'm happier when my account is up. <laughs> okay, I'm happier when everything is green. It's beautiful. Uh, having to deal with this stuff right now, it's uh, it's definitely a different experience. That's for sure. It requires a different mindset, and yeah. I, I, and I'm starting to learn to enjoy uh, seeing red to. days and having the money to buy stuff. You have to, man. The only thing that makes me sad about red days is when things are red and I don't have the cash to throw at at some stuff. Boom. That's it. That's it right there, man. Uh, because I know what it's like to be on those green days when everything is just insane. And yep. uh, I want that the next time that we cross into those green days, it's going to be life changing. Yeah. Period. Right. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget we're giving away Cardano. Chevron Brazen out. Double O out. <laughs>